So we have a backhoe tire that looks to be driven flat like crazy. And you can see that the sidewall here is all destroyed. And I'm actually gonna have to take it off because of the fact that they ran it flat so long that it's actually popped off the other side of the tire or the uh, rim. Well, that kind of sucks because, you know, it's obviously a lot easier just to be able to do it on the unit. But it's just one of those days. It's Monday, guys. Now to take off all the nuts with my new Chicago pneumatics gun. As you can tell, it's been very muddy recently, so that's why it doesn't really look new anymore. I also had a heck of a time trying to get this tire off, mainly because the tire got stuck on the hub. So I had to use a bar for a little bit of leverage, but eventually I got it off after, uh couple swear words now this part is where i started to get my heart rate going you're actually not supposed to be able to put it on that way so trying to put it on to get it off it's a lot more complicated what than it should be because of the drop center the drop center is on this side so that took a lot of, a lot of work well, that's what i call running a tire flat for a little bit too long destroyed it not only that but I think that this rim has a little bit of damage that I'm hoping I can fix and I lost the valve stem makes sense because I've probably been driven so so long flat let's hope I can fix it we'll see first we're gonna grind this down a little bit because there's a lot of dirt Use my new uh, Chicago pneumatics grinder. I like it. It's with the camera. I do YouTube videos, TikToks. And how much money do you make doing that? Uh, this year. My first year making money. A year? Yeah. I started making money in March. And you just put them on there and that's it. The videos are you changing tires. Yeah, and commentating over it and I do like funny short videos and then I do like long form like vlogging kind of thing. Yeah, this is real bad. I think I can fix it though. Before I attempted to fix the rim, I decided to put the tire on because otherwise the rim's just going to move everywhere. The front side's not so bad, it's the back that I'm worried about. I'm going to put on some safety. It's going to get loud. The tire nurse, aka my girlfriend, always wonders why is my back always so tight? Well, this is mainly the reason because I'm swinging this hammer and I'm trying to bend rims back all day. Well, I got it the whole day, but the real question is... Is it leaking? Oh, looks good to me. That's amazing. I got the magic touch. But although it is holding, I'm still gonna put sealant in it because I don't wanna come back and there's a possibility that it will still slowly leak once it starts getting back on the road. Yeah. Now we just gotta crack the bead, put some sealant in for good measure. Just like that, good to go. Now we just gotta put it back on and go fix another backhoe somewhere that I gotta go to next. So for calls like that, we actually might charge the customer an extra 30 or so dollars. One, because of the fact that we did just save them um, maybe like four or 500 bucks but also because it took a little while to actually bend that rim back. And you know, time is money. Money is time. But I mean, there's a reason why customers use us is because some companies would actually change that rim out and actually replace it and probably charge an extra service call to go get the rim and all that kind of stuff. So unless it was really bad, that, would might, that might've had to happen, but that's not what happened this time.